Hi, this is Lisa, and you're watching Spruce It Up with Lisa. Today, my video is focused on organization, organizing this mess of a pantry. As you can see here, everything in our pantry is all discombobbled. Um, there's no organization. And I just feel, how can you spruce anything up when you don't have organization? Things are just thrown in. We can't eyeball to see what we need when we go to the supermarket. Sometimes we have duplicates on duplicates of things because we just can't see. And this is minimally stocked, okay? So today we're just gonna get right down to the nitty gritty and get this mess cleaned up and organized so at least we can get a feel of what to buy when necessary, okay? All this extra unused space here is unnecessary. It can be organized much better. And so let's just get right into it. You see this shelving unit? Definitely it was purchased for canned goods. I didn't want any canned goods on the shelves, but as you can see, there are other things just thrown in there. Kidney beans, kidney beans, kidney beans. I even um, did purchase a bin, and kidney beans are in one of the bins. These are the bins that I purchased. I purchased these bins from TJ Maxx. Um, they do come in separates, okay? So even though you have small, medium, and large, they do come separately in our different prices. I took the um, chalkboard labeling and I purchased this white uh, chalkboard marker just to mark each bin so I can know at a glance what's inside the bin. You can get this from any store, Target, Walmart, wherever. wherever. The containers that I purchased also came from TJ Maxx. Now I had to make a decision because TJ Maxx sold these separately and not in a set. And it becomes very expensive when you buy these particular containers in a set. So going to TJ Maxx, they had all different sizes, different shapes, and it made it so much easier. And the cost down um, was much less than buying it in a whole set. So what I do is put my dry products into these containers so they can stay fresh. You can see what you need, what you don't need. You can close them. They have a tight seal on them. And I do recommend this product, definitely, um, if you're going to use this for storage space. So I labeled each kidney beans. You see them there again. But I labeled each container and put the food product in each one. I have a miscellaneous bin and these are for the carryovers, the extras, the extra oatmeal, the extra rice, the drink canisters. That idea came from this is summertime. These also came from TJ Maxx and I use these to fill these up with our drinks and our water just so the space on the floor can be clear. Now here's our finished product. On the top so starting from the bottom, you see the canister, spices, seasonings, condiments, um, and the canisters organized at the top. Uh, and it just goes on. I like to keep my snacks separately, cookies, and some of these things may need a little bit of adjusting just according to the usage and how much we use them. But this is a great idea. And see how you can eyeball each product to see when you're running low and what you need so when you're shopping yes I'm low on macaroni let's pick some up okay instant foods your taco mix and your instant potatoes and these old canisters over here came in perfect use for tea coffee and powdered drinks and you don't have to keep them on your countertop okay we have enough rice to feed a village our spices are in a container and our seasonings you see our water down here and the drink container usually contains our Gatorade our soda pops and juices as such okay so this is what we have in stock for today 
this side unit was purchased I believe um, it was purchased at Bed Bath & Beyond a store like that they have wonderful coupons and this is set up for canned goods and snacks down here especially for my mom so that is the view of my pantry okay for today thanks for watching my video be sure to like comment and subscribe and while you're at it head over to my instagram and follow me at spruce it up with lisa